hello guys i'm going to show you how to install mongodb let's see let's search for mongodb first then go to the its official site go to the software the community server is free the enterprise it's a paid version so we go for the community server and uh, it will show you the this kind of interface and here there are many versions but uh, i go with the latest one you can choose the windows mac or as for your choice but i go with the windows and package available in msi and zip i go with the msi i already downloaded so i'm not going to download again uh, i have already downloaded this let's install by double click on it press next just accept it <laughs> read these terms and license if you want i'm not going to read because i trust them okay next click on the complete uh, don't go with the custom one because everyone go with the complete version uh, do not uh, change anything here just uh, copy this uh, data directly into your not paid file because this is gonna be we use uh, a letter let's go to the next uh, for now don't install this compass so uncheck this next and install it uh, let's keep it uh, for a while and it will be installed for us i will be sure that uh, how it is gonna be. install it first okay so it is going to install yes 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 yeah it's finished now let's locate it first that is program files and mongodb so go to the our c drive the program files and let's search for mongodb yeah here it is go to the server 5.0 and in the data we have that yep in the bin folder yeah we have the exe too let me okay do the big icons okay so this is mongodb exe and the mongodb let's open the command prompt why let me see why we open it okay this will open like this okay so don't do that let's open it from here it will open from the bin folder and uh, let's type the mongo.exe dash dash version yeah if you get this it means the mongodb is already installed now what we need to do is is uh, environment so what we're gonna do just type the environment so e and v that's it while you hold and right click on it can you see just open it click on the environment variables go to the path edit okay add as a new path that's why now i got yeah so go to here add a new set let's press ok 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 now go to the cmd uh, again reopen the cmd and then let's type the mongo what gonna happen yeah after type the mongo you will get uh, this kind of greater than symbol and uh, let me type uh, show db yeah here we are so there is the admin config and local db so if you get uh, this kind of output and after set the environment you just need to type the mongo or else uh, if you do not want to uh, set the environment you can just double click on the mongo exe but the thing was uh, you need to 
click every time when you want to use the MongoExe. The, be the better approach is to set the environment variable then just go to the CMD because we are a developers programmers so the better one to use the CMD yeah so just type the Mongo and uh, Mongo just because of we set the environment variable it will run the exe for us so you can see the connecting to so this is mongodb this is the local ip and this is the port where the mongodb going to run uh, you know the when you use the mysql server it will run on the 3000 port so just like that mongodb is running on the 2717 that's it nothing else so after that if you get the, this kind of greater than symbol it means your connection is made or mongodb was successfully run and the environment variables also set it successfully yeah thank you